And finally tonight for this week's In Focus, our Brenda Mack takes us to the 11th annual Lakes Bluegrass Festival. It started out as an idea in the kitchen. It was uh, something we talked about for years, and uh, finally we just decided, let's do it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> and it's a husband and wife's love for music that laid the foundation to what is known today as the Lakes Bluegrass Festival. It's like a, a party for every, all your friends, you know? And for 11 years, the down-home tunes of bluegrass gave the Pine River community a yearly event to look forward to. It's just the music. It gets in your bones and... You want to go with it, you know. Though the four-day festival only began Thursday, campers started rolling in as early as Tuesday. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of good bands, really. And there's a lot of good friends, like running into all kinds of good friends like you. <laughs> and the outpouring love from the crowd keeps musicians coming back year after year. They're very lively and we like that because we, we play off of that, so this crowd has been awesome. Attracting some well-known artists to perform in the Northwoods for the very first time. My first year here, 22 hours to get here. And this town of less than a thousand draws a crowd tripling that population size every Lakes Bluegrass weekend. We're probably about the second biggest one in the state, and like I said, we get people from all over the country. So, With open workshops for aspiring and current musicians, this is an ideal setting to learn firsthand from the pros. I just think it's a great experience, and especially for the young people coming up, it's just so good that they get into music. I think this is wonderful. Lakes Bluegrass Festival is now owned by a nonprofit with proceeds going back to the community. If you're not here now, you should be. Come on, grab a blanket, a, a lawn chair, and come listen to some great music outside with some wonderful folks. For this week's In Focus, Brenna Mack, Lincoln News. Festival will continue tomorrow at 11 a.m. and it runs through Sunday. Tickets are available on site. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.